Hi, this is Eric Cummins with your Southwest Kentucky Fishing Report at Barren River Lake. Uh, the lake is its near summer pool with the thermocline depth at around 20 foot. Dissolved oxygen levels are slightly depressed in the lower half of the lake. The upper ends are running around normal. Bass have been fair early and late or in the wee hours of the night with top waters, slow rolled spinner baits, Texas or wacky rigged worms. Crappie have been slow but some action with trolling. The creek channels, hybrids have been fair late at night or to first light with swim baits, trolling, or vertical jigging. Catfish have been fair on jugs with cut or live bait. And then bluegill also have been fair with crickets and wax worms. At Green River Lake, also is at summer pool with a thermocline depth around 16 to 17 foot. Bass have been fair early and late, and at night with Texas rig worms, top waters, and jigs, or slow, slow retrieve swim baits or spinner baits. Crappie have been fair there, trolling the channels near the thermocline. Barren River tailwater flow has been consistent for the last few weeks, which translates to good float and wade fishing conditions from the dam down to the Drake's Creek confluence. Bass action on this stretch has been good with top waters, crankbaits, or spinners and soft plastics, with the occasional walleye and muskie being reported. Green River from the dam to Mammoth Cave is low, but bass have been fair with creative presentations like buzz baits, top waters or fast moving crankbaits, and soft plastics or wacky rigs. This is a good time of year for good wade fishing opportunities on your nearby small stream with water levels being low. Fish often get very aggressive and territorial, but will wallop a topwater or spinners, but exercise some stealth as they are extra wary this time of year. As always, good luck and good fishing. Be sure your life jacket's got your back. This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. Surface water temperatures in area lakes and reservoirs are running in the low to mid 80s, and lake levels in the major reservoirs continue to fall, which means anglers may have to get creative in terms of tactics in order to get on some fish. On Lake Cumberland, anglers are still having success picking up straight bass in the early morning hours in the lower portion of the main lake and major tributary. Target areas in the 50 to 80 feet range using live shad for your best chance at catching one. Black bass bite has been variable. Evening and night hours are still being more productive. Target main lake points and ledges for smallmouth and pockets with cover for largemouth bass. Crappie have been hit or miss as of late, but some are still being picked up in 15 to 20 feet of water on minnows. On the Cumberland tailwater, dissolved oxygen levels had been running somewhat low, so sluice gates are now in operation to help raise the oxygen level in the tailwater. The open sluice gates will make for some rough water in the area near the dam on the tailwater side, so use caution when fishing in the area. In addition to the sluice gates, generation flows are variable during the day, but lower flows are still occurring on the weekends to make conditions favorable for anglers and boaters. Trout fishing has been good on the tailwater as of late, with some nice rainbows trout being caught. On Dale Hollow, fishing has been somewhat slow for bass. Anglers have been having some success catching largemouth on spinnerbaits and jigs. Fish are somewhat scattered, with some being shallow and woody structures and others being deep in up to 40 feet of water. Grass beds are always a good option to target bass on Dale Hollow. The walleye bite has slowed down, but some are still being picked up trolling crankbaits in 25 feet of water. Also, rainbow trout stocking will soon be underway in the fall for Rock Creek and McCrory County. They can be caught on a variety of lures, including small spinners, worms, and corn. So as always, good luck and good fishing. This is Jeremy Shiflett with another fishing update for northwestern Kentucky. Both Rough and Nolan River Lakes are at Summer Pool. Both are discharging a touch over minimum flow in their tailwaters. At Rough River Lake, bluegill and channel catfish are being caught near shore and from boat docks with night crawlers and cricket, and also in the tailwater using similar baits. Crappie fishing is fair, with fish being caught on brush 10 to 17 feet deep. A few can be caught trolling small crankbaits as well. The thermocline is at about 16 to 17 feet on the lower lake. Bass fishing is slow. Short bass are still being caught on soft plastics and medium running crankbaits 4 to 12 feet deep. A few larger bass have been found early and late evening into overnight on main lake flats and rocky banks near the creek mouths. Hybrid striped bass fishing is also fair. The jumps are sporadic and focused in a lower lake. Any bait that is flashy or makes noise or does both is a good choice for jumping fish. At no Lynn, crappie fishing is fair with a few fish being caught on brush and among standing timber 15 to 20 feet deep. 
catfishing has been good in the evening and overnight using jugs and rod and reel baited with night crawlers, chicken livers, and strawberry chicken. Bass fishing has been fair. Black bass and white bass can be found in the jumps early and late, but typically a few more early in the day. A few good bass have been caught in the nighttime bass tournaments. Thermocline is around 17 to 18 feet deep in the lower lake. Let's continue the fair trend with bass fishing in the state lakes, city county owned lakes, and on our WMAs, soft plastics, Texas or Carolina rigged, Ned rigs and medium running crankbaits have all caught fish here and there. Target woody structure, the edges of the weed beds, and large chunk rock. Catfishing has been pretty good in the state lakes and WMA lakes, especially in the evenings and overnight. Please be careful if you do light a fire and make sure to fully extinguish it and take your trash with you when you leave. Trout are scheduled to be stocked in several places the week of the 11th. Check the stocking page on our website for exact dates. Otter Creek on Fort Knox, Nolan Lake Tailwater, and Roundstone Creek are among the ones receiving fish in our area. At the moment, it's tough sledding getting on fish consistently. You may need to get creative with your bait choice and presentation to hook up. It looks like we're going to cool down over the next 10 days, so it should be a great time to get out fishing, deer hunting, or dove hunting. Good luck and stay safe.